Welcome back to our adventures with the Zumo robot. This week we're going to look at the sensors which are fitted to the robot. There's one set which comes with a Zumo underneath. This is the front bar of infrared sensors. We're only going to use one on the left and the one on the right. The middle ones are for if you want to follow lines and so on. We're just going to be detecting the edge of a board. We're also fitting with the help of the interface PCB, which is this green one, which is between the Arduino and the Zumo, we've got a couple of, looks like LEDs on each side. Actually, the gray one is an LED and the black one is a phototransistor. More of that later. And the other bit of equipment we have on here is the ultrasound sensor and you can actually hear that working. So let's just quickly tell you about this. There's a simple program that you can find on Blackboard and what's happening is that we are finding the values coming from our various sensors and we're going to find out the distance in centimeters from an ultrasound sensor. We're going to find out whether uh, we've got the rear, left and right sensors over a line or not and the same for the front sensors over a line or not. The rear one's going to give us analog readings and the front one's going to give us digital readings. And there's just one other thing which is a variable control which you can just use, use later. So what we're doing with this program is that we are declaring all our variables and pin numbers at the top of the program like we should do and then we go to setup and turn all the pins on as outputs or inputs or even input pull up so more about that in the notes later and we also are starting up serial communication which can then go via the serial monitor that we'll be clicking on later and we have a very simple loop all it is is just simply asking to read the front sensor the rear sensor and the ultrasound sensor and then finally just to show the status of each sensor on the serial monitor and there's another little extra thing just at the bottom we're using a result straight away how many centimeters away from the ultrasound sensor so if the distance is less than 50 centimeters then we're going to play a little tone now in all these cases front sense rear sense ultrasound and tone play they are calling up little subroutines like you saw last time with motor move you've got numbers fed into there to move the motors we're not doing that just yet you can add that in yourselves but front sense just a couple of lines there and it's going to put values into infrared left right front sense array same for the rear sense it's just rear sense array and for the ultrasound sense we've got a little thing where we send a pulse to trigger the sensor as a two, millis, two microsecond pulse and then what we have is a, an echo coming back we just measure how long that is with the pulse in command it tells us how many microseconds and then we divide by 29 and divide by 2 to convert to centimeters and our tone play is just going to just do a very short blip of square wave at a frequency depending on the distance away in centimeters and finally down here we've got display status so this is where we are sending all the text to the serial monitor let's see what it does so as usual we click on the serial monitor top right hand corner and that restarts the program and then you get all the data coming in so it's just rear left right sensor so it says 39645 a little note about that in a minute and then we've got front left right sensor and it says 1, 1, because it's on a white surface. If I pick up the car, the Zumo, see no difference. 
So what happened? I'll show you. The front sensors only work when you switch the Zumo on. That means now that the sensors are switched on. Now we have zero, which means that it's on a white surface. And if I pick it up, it goes one. So now you can see put down, it's zero. There you go. And all the time, it's just measuring the centimeters away from the ultrasound sensor. And what I've included is a little tone thing, so it's quite handy for measuring distance away. So if we put an obstacle here, you can just experiment with what the range of the sensor is. See, as you can see where it can see. So now you can work out when you can see your enemy. And so here you go, going from the top, and so on. So these are just all the basic little sensor reads and just data being put out for you. It's up to you now just to make decisions based on those sensor readings. Now, one quick thing, front sensors, remember you have to switch the Zumo on, so the LEDs are on, so that you can activate the front sensor. And the other thing too is that the rear sensor even though it's both looking at the white base of the board, we've got, we've got very, very different numbers. Now, if I go over the black, they both go to about uh, 800 plus. When it's set finally there, or in the space. And then when I go over the white again, it's small numbers. So, very different numbers, and that's something we can't really help is because the black photodiodes are very variable. But the main thing is that you just decide what the number range is between the white and the black area. Sorry about the focus, folks. And then you just choose a number threshold which is in between. Yeah. Okay, so there you are. That's the setup. No moving at the moment. I'll leave the movements up to you. You simply just put the numbers into the motor move command and then you can get this to move around. So with the sensors you can detect whether you have back hit or front hit and then you can make some decisions. And then you can also look out for your opponent, your enemy, whether it comes in range and then make decisions based on that. Have a lot of fun. Next week will be the Bluetooth.